A howitzer fired that 150-pound parachute into the atmosphere of Mars, while the small SUV-sized rover Perseverance, suspended beneath the chute, hurled toward the red planet at nearly twice the speed of sound. Space is definitely very harsh, and we tried to simulate everything on Earth, and we do our best, but... When it comes to the real deal, it's there is like an aspect of chance there. The lead systems engineer for Perseverance's supercam, Vishnu Shridhar, grew up in Rigo Park, Queens, but on Thursday sat in his Pasadena apartment working remotely and watching a live stream of Perseverance's entry, descent, and landing, hoping the product of the last three years of his working life survived unscathed. Folks have been working on it for over a decade. Perseverance landed safely in the 28-mile-wide crater of a former Martian lake to applause from those in mission control back on Earth and now spends the next few weeks ensuring all its various subsystems still function after six months of space flight and seven terrifying minutes of entry, descent, and landing. So what we'll be doing is firing lasers on rocks, taking images, recording with our microphone. Fish News Supercam plays a vital role in Perseverance's mission to collect the first ever Martian samples for return to Earth as part of a future mission. Basically used to study the um, elemental composition of rocks, but also it's used for detecting biosignatures of targets it's looking at. Those biosignatures might hint at whether the surface of Mars ever harbored life. We're not th thinking about like little green men or aliens on Mars, but more like microbial lights. While Vishnu's grandfather was a civil engineer in India, Vishnu also credits Aviation High School in Sunnyside with guiding him to his current role at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Really sparking my interest in pursuing um, outside the atmosphere engineering. Once Vishnu determines supercam functions as it should, the engineering part of this mission ends. The science begins and Vishnu starts working on a system for a future NASA mission. One he hopes also studies conditions and demonstrates technology that improves life here on Earth. As humans, we are explorers, and naturally we like to um, go and uh, seek and like answer fundamental questions. I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.